Uepa. One up from the Discovery in ninth place is the Leopard 45 Catamaran. Now the Leopards are a firm favourite of liverboards and charters alike and 32.9 was the score that you awarded it. The positives for the Leopard 45, well the interior you found to be light and airy. The living space was very, very accommodating. It has a forward cockpit that you all said this is a really useful feature to have, especially in the tropics. Forward facing chart table and the sailing characteristics of this boat are remarkably good. We also found the interior fitting to be above average. For a production catamaran, the joinery, the level of fit out is pretty good. There were some questions about that forward facing door and some of our patrons asked those questions when we were lucky enough to interview Leopard Management in a test sale after the Annapolis Boat Show. If you want to see that interview, the link is above. But Leopard were gracious and honest enough to answer those questions and we felt pretty reassured talking to a delivery skipper about the actual realities of ownership of a Leopard Catamaran. So overall we were pretty pleased. This was the second time we had taken a look at Leopard and we were pretty pleased and we'd be confident in a boat like this to cross oceans or to just cruise the Caribbean islands alike. Well done Leopard, this is a thoroughly well deserved score in at ninth place, Leopard 45 32.9. Coming into 8th place is the St Francis 50 Catamaran. Now we really love this boat and you did too. So overall the score of 33.6 was well deserved. Now what did you love about this boat? Well let's look at the positives first. The helm is pretty amazing. You can see 360, it's well protected. The visibility is absolutely fantastic and something you would really want on passage. The quality of build is apparent throughout the boat from the running gear, the standing rigging and also the interior of the boat. This again is a semi custom build. Everything is over engineered. It is thought out for the sailor. So hand holds galore. The ability to move safely around a boat at sea should not be underestimated. Joinery is bespoke. The fit out is absolutely divine. You can really see this as a beautiful and easy living space to occupy. Well done St Francis. We absolutely love your boat and the public do too. So St Francis 50, 33.6 out of 50. In seventh place, we have the first of the chic French designers and this is Privilege, the Privilege 510 Catamaran. You awarded this 33.7. Now I was absolutely blown away by the finish of this boat. No expenses spared. It is absolutely stunning. The ability to customize this boat almost infinitely means that you are buying a very, very well built, bespoke and luxurious boat. To me, this was one of the most luxurious catamarans we saw. So if chic French design and the ability to cruise the world in abject luxury is your idea of retirement or what you're going to do with a lottery win and you have those funds lying around, take a look at the Privilege 510. It really is an absolutely amazing craft. 33.7. Congratulations, Privilege. Coming in at number six and just before the top five, the sexy French catamaran Outremer 51. Now this was one of my favorites and you scored it 34. We actually scored this a lot higher in our review. So what did you like? Well, the interior, it is light, it is airy, it is Scandinavian feel and it looks really well built. The forward facing nav station is a must for long ocean crossings. But overall, we found this to be such a beautiful boat. I could really see myself zipping across oceans with or without kids and doing it at speed and in safety. This is a really beautiful boat. As you know, the 45 has been made famous by La Vagabond. The 51 is the bigger sister and there is now a 55 with the Versa helm coming out. Overall, we love this. You didn't love it as much as we did, but it is still a beautiful boat. I was also lucky enough to go and test sail at an Outremer 51. I am blown away by the kindness of Outremer. 
but more blown away by the performance of this boat in light airs. We are looking at 8.6 knots of boat speed in under 10 knots of breeze. I was a very, very happy boy. Well done, Uchimer. The 51, 34 out of 50, fantastic boat. So we've seen catamarans 10 to 5. Before we go to the top five, which I know that you guys are really excited about and anxious to get to, let's take a quick look at the catamarans that didn't make it to the top 10. Remember, this is based on your votes. We did 19 reviews and one boat had to come in 19th. This is going to be the Trimaran Neil 47. Now a lot has been written on the internet about the Neil 47. Let me concentrate on some of the positives. She is light, she is airy, but more than that, she is fast. This boat has won awards for speed. She won the ARC 2019. So congratulations to Neil for winning that accolade. In 18th place is the XS12 by Beneteau. Now this boat is based on a Lagoon 40 hull with a Lagoon 40 deck mold. You felt that the interior and both exterior were not as well put together or luxurious as the Lagoon 40. You did not like the aft helm seats and you felt that the interior again was inferior to the Lagoon 40. Despite this being 30,000 more, if you want a Lagoon 40, go and buy yourself a Lagoon 40. Coming into 17th place is the Fontaine Pajot Astrea. Now this is a firm favourite with the Charter and there is no doubt it is a beautiful looking boat. 28.1 out of 50 as scored by you. But despite a light and airy interior, the options list on this seemed pretty high and I am still not impressed and neither were you by this tie rod system for a steering system for an ocean going boat. So for the Estrella 42, 17th place. In 16th place brings us the Majestic 530 Catamaran. This is a huge boat which has got so many berths. It is largely customizable. This one had a fish tank. There is a new model out of this boat which has slightly prettier lines, but 16th place for the Royal Cape Majestic, well done. Into 15th place is that favorite with circumnavigators, the Ark and Liverboards, the Lagoon, and this is the Lagoon 42. We really like the interior. 30.7 is what you gave this. If you want to see the full review, it is all available on our channel. Well done, Lagoon. In 14th place is the Argentinian built Antares 44. Now there is no secret, we absolutely love this boat. It is so well built and so beautiful, but you only scored it 31.8 out of 50. Despite the quality of the interior, you felt that it was slightly dated in look, and you also felt that the $1 million price tag for a 44 foot Cataram was a little bit excessive. The Nautitech 46 by Bavaria Yachts takes 13th place. You, like us, did not like these aft helm positions. Please listen and learn, manufacturers. 31.9 out of 50. But the interior is light, it's beautiful, this boat is fast. And we actually were really taken with the quality of little things like the joinery and the way the boat is put together. So actually, this boat we felt should have scored higher, but congratulations, Nautitech. In at 12 and just shy of top 10 is the Katana 53 by Katana Yachts. Again, it is the aft helm station. Some people love them, some people hate them. Personally, you didn't like them, so 32.3 was the final score. However, lovely forward facing chart table, a very, very bespoke build and a very, very luxurious build. Daggerboards and performance are the name of the game here. So if you want a fast, luxurious boat to take you around the world, Katana 53. And just missing out on the top 10 position is the Maverick 440 by Maverick Yachts of South Africa. This is a very well built boat, 32.6 out of 50, you awarded it. However, you felt that the design was a little clunky, bulkheads where they shouldn't be, things that really were tripping hazards, and overall the use of space for such a premium 44 foot yacht could have been better. But nonetheless, well done Maverick. We now get onto the top five catamarans as voted by 4,500 of you. Straight in at number five, the Sea Wind 1260. Now this was a surprise for us. Now we absolutely love this boat, but we did not think that you would love it as much as we did. There is so much to love about the Sea Wind. 34.1 and for a boat that comes in at half a million dollars, there is so much good stuff here. Those massive opening windows are an absolute necessity if you are going somewhere warm. 
the boat is very very well put together the trifold door gives you so many options one door two doors three doors open a massive inside outside living area forward and backwards helm seats barbecue sinks modular furniture richard ward is a 